Good morning, Green Light the Day family. Welcome back. It's been a while. Happy fall, y'all, and happy Monday. I know it's not officially fall, but my kids start school tomorrow, so it's essentially fall for me. So, so much to catch up on. Uh, I will try not to make this video too long. Um, I think Janie had mentioned that she wanted us to talk a little bit about the month of August for us all. Um, just real quick, I did, I did a lot of traveling. I did a lot of traveling and I really missed you guys. I missed starting my day every day. For the first week, I watched old videos. Um, and then throughout, periodically, I would watch some old videos because I love starting my day with green light the day. And um, I'm really looking forward to getting back to it. But there's going to be a lot of changes for me. Um, I was always able to access YouTube in the morning before I started work from my computer at work. And now I can no longer do that. I cannot access anything anymore. I can't access YouTube, Facebook, or anything like that. So I am not on these things very much at all anymore which makes it difficult to stay in touch. Um, it was nice that I had that hour to reconnect, start my day. So I am, this year, going to have to really revamp my schedule. My kids start school tomorrow, so the traffic is going to double, and we're going to see how long it takes my commute. Uh, it seems like every year it gets longer and longer. Um, so we'll see. I keep saying I want to get up and work out in the morning. Uh, the motivation has been difficult, but it's kind of really about how bad do I really want it. Um, and what am I willing to do to get it? That's really what it boils down to. So. Other than that, I just really feel like for the month of August, I forget for the month of August, where I am is so grateful that I have green light the day in my life. It has made me so mindful, and I know that I talk about that a lot, but I feel so different and forever changed that I'm so much more mindful of my behavior, of being in the moment, and just making better choices for me. I'm very conscious of my feelings and reaction to things. And when something's upsetting me, I can reevaluate and hey, listen, I'm not perfect. I'm not always able. I do have guttural reactions. But um, I've had a great summer, a really great summer. I've had a lot of fun. I have danced my ass off. It's been fabulous. I've done, I've really done things that make me happy. I've really done a lot of fun things. So I, I look forward to hearing all the things that you guys have done. Um, maybe some changes that have gone on in your life. There's always changes in mine. I I really just want to talk about the positive right now, you know. Um, I'm looking forward to the unknown, and that's big for me because the unknown has always been a little scary for me, being the control freak that I am. Uh, but the unknown doesn't have to be scary because I guess I'm looking at it as positive, you know, what positive things are around the corner, what excitement is going to be brought my way. And it's really about perspective, which I guess I've always said, you know, life is about perception and, and perspective. Um, but I think I'm getting into a better space within myself. And Lord knows I have worked a long time at this at realizing that it doesn't matter what goes on with everybody else. It doesn't necessarily have to do with me. And I don't have to take on other people's problems. 
I have to let them work out their stuff because it's their journey and this one's mine. And all I have to own is my actions and my behavior. And that's what I've been doing and that's what I've been focusing on and just loving my girls and guiding them and you know, taking the changes with them as they come. Lots of changes with my girls as they grow. God help me. You know, I mean, having to talk about shaving with my eight-year-old. You know, just the maturity, it's, or the meaning the physical body maturity is. Anyways, you moms out there know what I'm talking about. But, uh, you know, it's, it's all a journey. It's part of my journey and theirs and I'm excited and I ask God every day to help me make the right decisions and communicate with them to the best of my ability to believe in themselves and to accept themselves and to love themselves wherever they're at because that's what I am striving to do and I am mindful that I lead by example on a daily basis that they're always watching and always listening, even when I think that they're not. So, happy fall, y'all, and it's great to be back, and I really am excited to see you all again, and hopefully I can find a way to watch you guys in the morning, um, because I like to start my day listening to what you guys have to say. So I'm going to have to figure something out. Hopefully I find that out. I find that soon. Have a great week, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.